Hello, welcome back to another episode. This will be the last episode of 2022 because I don't want to bother all my other friends and tell them to join during the holidays. So I could only squeeze one more in and today we have Gigi back. And then, yes, today we're going to reflect on the 2022 year and then also talk about traveling or like where we have traveled to and social media hi Gigi it's nice seeing you again (laughs) well we're not seeing each other but well that is true we're hearing (laughs) each other we're not even filming this but we We don't even yeah we saw we saw each other during the weekend was fun that was fun yes i loved the food i loved the vibes the christmas vibes everything yes it was it was super nice super fun Mm -hmm. beautiful memories yes the only thing i wish was that we took a whole like more pictures together like standing up not on the couch (laughs) Oh yeah, that's true. Cause the I ones here with like everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to take a picture like an O O T T type of picture, but yeah, that didn't happen. Yeah, I feel like time goes fast when we're together. To be honest, I know that's the thing I notice with us. Like we always forget to take pictures. Yeah, <laughs> we're always to... like busy we have something that we're doing yeah and then because for thanksgiving you guys got to hang out with jesseline at her place and i was kind of excited to see your guys's pictures but no one sent pictures the next day so i was like what happened no we did not send pictures because like we were just hungry we just immediately ate Mm. and that food mm. It was so good. It really was. I mean, that's good. Yeah. But we should have took pictures. But there's always a next time. Yeah. Next time, the thing thing we need to do is that when everybody is there, we just need to go and take pictures right away. Yeah. I imagine I need a new phone because my camera on my phone right now is dead. I want a new phone too, but they're so expensive. I know. I wanted to get an iPhone, but I don't have I don't have money right now. Yeah. I want to upgrade mine, but same. I don't have money. Be like that sometimes, bro. Be like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's reflect on 2022. Um, do you want to go first or you want me to go first? You go first. Okay, 2022. I feel like I want to give a summary. 2022 was very fun first half of the year was fun it was exciting it was fun it was nice but then the second half was very hmm, it was new experience it was a lot of hard work a lot of uh, anxiety due to school or because I transferred and started on a new place so like the beginning of 2022 I only ha- for the semester I only had one class so it was chill I didn't have to worry that much and like the teacher was nice I like I had had her before too if well I have been going online throughout the pandemic and even now well last semester was my last semester online and then this semester I went in person so that was really scary for me and really challenging because I think I had to face I faced 
well like I like to say that I felt like I was I went through a breakup because I've been dreaming of going to the school I am at for a long time since we were in 10th grade I remember like always wanting to go there making my plans around that and also like that industry and being so excited and like so motivated but now that it's here it feels I don't feel the same way I did back then so I feel like I kind of like broke up with my career but then at the same time it's not like I would do anything else you know yeah like I fell in love I love traveling I love like stuff like that and I want to do that as a career so it's like I think that the pandemic changed me I became more introverted so like the hospitality industry I feel like it's very extroverted it's very like you have to talk to people and stuff like that so I'm like oh my god I like changed but then at the same time like I've mentioned before in other podcast episodes um whenever I feel like I'm introverted whenever it comes to school so like it it, I have a hard time participating in class or like I never want to participate in class but then in the real world like in a restaurant whenever I'm at a um talking to a waiter or like to a cashier at a store I feel so comfortable talking to them but like in school I was just like quiet and like didn't really want to participate so I don't know I hope it is like that as well once I graduate and get a job related to the industry like I hope that I'm just like I hope that I hmm, what's this what should how should I say like that I'm extroverted in my work area you know and that I don't shy off because I feel like then I would really struggle even more you know yeah you want to excel in what you want to do yeah especially since this has been my dream like this is everything I would have uh this is everything I would always talk about like being here in this university getting this opportunity to be here and now that I am here I felt so torn apart these past couple of months with myself because like this is everything I would like talk about and want and now that it's here I feel like like I'm second guessing myself and I'm like is this really what I want is is is, should I have taken this route should I have done this should I have just gotten an associate's degree in this area and just be done with school or should I have should I still pursue a bachelor's and stuff like that and um I mean I think sometimes I feel motivated especially looking at other people's videos like when they graduate especially like when they come from immigrant parents and like how they hand them their cap and gown and everything and then and they're just like really happy and proud of their kids so I like I'm like I want to experience that too like finish a like a four-year degree like and then like watch my parents be proud of me for doing that you know so I feel like that kind of keeps me going too yeah your parents are motivated yeah and also like um what was I gonna say oh also like seeing Carolina's parents are also is also motivating because look at what the where they're at now you know from the little home they used to live in to the really nice neighborhood they're at and like I really want to be I mean one of the things I value is being safe and like safety both like in the workplace and just in your environment you know so like to work hard you have to I mean not to work hard but like to live in a safe and um neighborhood you have to work hard for that which is sad because you know everybody should be able to feel safe but it's not like that you know mm-hmm. so like to want to live in one of those neighborhoods would be kind of like a dream for me as I grow up and like start making money and stuff 
since, I mean, when I entered that neighborhood, you could already feel how safe it felt. And it's so different compared to, like, my neighborhood and stuff like that. So I look forward to that, too, to, like, where I w would want to live and become an adult, you know? Yeah. I guess that's reflecting towards the future now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's too far off <laughs> no but that's good that's good that like you have motivation and stuff you're realizing like what motivates you yeah because um i feel like you've been a victim of this of where like i get depressed or i get so anxious but then in a couple months i'm back to normal and then in a couple months i'm go i'll go back to being depressed and anxious and i'm just like man I don't know if I should share with anyone how I feel anymore because I feel like I'm bothering you guys by doing so. Not at all. Because sometimes I'm like, man, I feel like they think I'm crazy because one day I'm crying and I'm depressed and then the next one I feel like so happy and like motivated and ready to face the world, you know? Yeah, but not at all. You don't like bother anybody with that. Because, like, I mean, you can't, you can't be guilty of your own emotions. Because, I mean, you're human. We're all human. That's how we all feel, you know? Yeah. So, like, I know what it feels to be sad. I know what it feels to be happy. Like, I would like to have that connection with you and all my friends, you know? Yeah. So, like, it doesn't bother me at all to, like, hear what you're feeling. It makes me feel like, oh, you trust me, like... You trust me enough to tell like, you me things, what you think and stuff like that. And mm. you trust me like, to tell you, like, just like, what's it called? Con console you? Yeah. Yeah. But, no, I get you. Like, sometimes I feel guilty talking about my feelings, too. Like, I'm like, oh, I think I'm bothering these people. But at the end... We're, we all need help <laughs> yeah we all we're all here for each other because we need each other and like if we didn't have anyone else then who would be there for exactly. us exactly we need we to be able to yeah we need to be able to support each other and at mm -hmm. the same time whenever we're feeling down uh, help each other exactly but yeah, um, it's nice to know how you feel because this last time I was like, I'm just going to post how I feel and not talk to anyone individually because I didn't talk to anyone individually. I just posted how I feel, you know, mm -hmm. but now, I mean, I feel like I can talk to you more about it, you know, Yeah. or like in the future, whenever I have any like issues of motivation and feeling down. Well, I hope I don't have any anymore since this was my first semester. So I've lived through it now and now I know how it feels and what I need to do. So from here, I hope for 2023 that I'm just like stable where I don't like fall into a depression, <laughs> you know? Yeah, 2023, we're going to be stable. Um, that's, that's all we need. Emotionally stable, love that yes but what about you tell us um, a little bit about you in your 2022 um, 2022 okay so the beginning actually i feel like mine was like the opposite of yours <laughs> <laughs> so like the beginning of 2022 i was so like out like i just wanted to leave I wanted to leave Houston so bad. I wanted to leave mm -hmm. my house so bad. Because I've been in my house since COVID started. Since the whole quarantine stuff. So I want to say like a year or more. I've just been stuck in my room. Doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. And I was feeling so like. Ew. Like icky. Like everything just annoyed me. I was getting, like, just, I had more bad emotions than good emotions. Yeah. And 
but at the same time, I was also discovering like myself, who I am, what I really think about stuff in life and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then the other half, I felt so like the most alive that I have been. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I went back to uh, Texas State to San Marcos and I got my own apartment with some roommates and I just had a lot of new new experiences um, I joined a club that was just a blessing even though like in the beginning I was very like I was so scared, dude. Like, I felt like I wouldn't make any new friends. Or, like, I'll just be there and be bored. And then yeah. I think I wasted my time, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but in the, in the end, like, I made a lot of amazing friends and made a, a lot of amazing memories. And, yeah, my classes though they were more like they were more specifically for my major and I really liked them like I loved all my classes except our group project I hated my group projects dude like my group projects were so ugh they were so annoying I just don't work well with groups in like the school system you know like I could work with, like, a team, like, a sports team or a, just any other team except for, like, education. Like, yeah. I, just, I cannot. Mm-hmm. It just irritates my soul. But luckily, I passed all my classes. Woo-hoo. Um, Woo. But, yeah, like, overall, I think my 2022 year, the year of 2022, uh, I had, um, how would I describe it? Um, change. I'll describe my, this year to be change. Just mm. great change. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool to see how, how you, like, have gone out your box. Well, it's not even really even your box, like, by yourself. It's just, like, being outside your house type of box, you know? Yeah. And I was so nervous to, like, just meet people, like, just in general. Like, just to see somebody, like, at the gas station. I was, like, fucking nervous for no reason, you know? Like, yeah. But, yeah, like. Yeah, because you, I feel like we're different in... Wait, would you say that you participate in class or not really? Uh, not really. Only if, like, it's awkwardly silent and I know the answer, you know? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just want to get it over with, right? Yeah. Like, if the teacher's just, like, looking at me, like, please answer. <laughs> then I will, but no, I wouldn't, like, raise my hand. Yeah. I wish we had more classes in high school because I don't really know how you are as a student either, you know? Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> we really did not have any, like, classes together, which was, like, yeah. fucking illegal. It really is. We sh- I, had I mean, no I was going to... I had classes with you. I- actually, I had no classes with my friends. Yeah, that's what's crazy. Like, honestly, the only class that I had my friends with was in English, 11th grade. Um, Oh, and 12th grade. But 11th grade with Jessalyn and Roberto. Mm. Yeah. That was... I love that class. But yeah, I didn't have any of my friends in any of my classes. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know how you are as a student, you know? Mm-hmm. But, like, if high school me, like, student me, uh, I just mind my own business. Like, I wouldn't really raise my hand. Yeah. I feel, I feel like we were people who wouldn't raise our hands. 
Uh uh-uh. uh. I remember there was like this one year in middle school. I would raise my hand, but then I just stopped. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. This is. I'm done. I'm tired. Over it. I feel like I don't only participate if I know 100% the answer. Because, mm-hmm. like, for me, it was more of, like, feeling embarrassed of saying the wrong answer, you know? Yeah, yeah. Type of deal. Yeah. So, like, that's why I was like, don't pick me, because what if I don't know it? And, like, what are other people going to think of me type of situation? Yeah. But if I knew the if I knew the answer, I'd, I'd like, from hand up really yeah. quick. I felt that, like, this semester in one of my classes, well, several of my classes, where I knew the answer, but I wouldn't, like, raise my hand. I don't know. Mm. I still don't want to raise my hand. <laughs> yeah. I think, like, for me, since the first day of school, since, well, for, for two of the classes, I sit in the front, and then for two of the classes, I sat in the back. But that was, I sat in the back because it was like a movie theater type of seating. So like the the one at the back would have the better view, you know, because mm-hmm. they would move us. Yeah, like they would move us around for groups for one of the classes. And I'd be like, I hate all these other seats. The seat I have is like the number one seat for me, even though it was in the in the last row. But like it was the best one for me to see not just because i wanted to be in the back and hidden but because it was just the best one to be at yeah but then for the other two classes i sat in the very front because i was like oh because i can't really see well (laughs) so i use glasses and i was just like i'm gonna sit in the very front and no one sat with me which was sad that was me in the beginning but then like we had assigned seats and I was like okay well Well, they gave you guys assigned seats well it was like we have to sit with our group for a group project Mm -hmm. yeah yeah for me I would just sit in the very front because I thought we were gonna be like having powerpoints and stuff like that for one of the classes but we didn't end up having powerpoints and the first day of school the teacher like he came up to me and was like what's your name you know and then ever since then I feel comfortable talking in class and participating and also like since we had to do it's kind of like a discussion but you ask a question and then you answer other people's questions at first I was so scared for that but then once I got the hang of it I was like okay I don't have to worry about this but so I had posted my question and he he called me out and he was like Daisy wrote a good question you guys should like look at her work or stuff like that so I was like oh my god the class I was scared for the most I'm doing so well you know and I got like I just got a hundreds throughout the semester. Yeah. yeah and I think it's I think it's also thanks to like the professor like um talking to us the first day of school, you know? Like trying to talk to as many students and getting to know them. Cuz you know how like some professors would like not really care or like shy off to talking to students so they don't really know them well yeah i love the professors who like they want to know who you are they want to know who their students are who they're teaching so they mm-hmm. know teach, you know yes and that was uh, i would i think he has another class that i have to take and i'm so excited but i, I don't take it until like next year i think so I'm excited to take it again with him. That's good. You already know who. Yeah. All of my professors were were nice. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I feel like 
scary teachers are like the math ones, science ones, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I loved all my professors. Um, one was like, she, I guess she was new. Mm. Um, but she would talk like really fast and she had like a little accent. So yeah. I would be like, wait, hold on, what'd you say? Like, I would have to like, you know, just pause and think in my brain, like, does this sentence make sense or does this sentence make sense? To like, you know, like, sometimes yeah. I would, like, flirt with the other words. So I would mm-hmm. just be like, um, okay. But luckily, like, we only had like three in person classrooms. Yeah. Like, little, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, the rest was on, like, online. But my math. I had to take a uh, macroeconomics, I think. Yeah, macroeconomics, which is very much words and math, which I'm not that good with, you know. Mm-hmm. Mix up my words, I mix up my numbers. Just It's just not a good combination. But um, that professor was really like, ooh, like I didn't really like his, just his way of teaching. Yeah. And he was kind of rude. Like, he would, for, like, some of um, our assignments, no, actually, he would, like, um, do reviews, right, on our yeah. desk. And he would ask us questions, and, like, we wouldn't really know, so we would just be silent. And then he was, like, he would just, like, make little comments and they were like kind of rude like one of them was like uh oh shit what was it he was like um oh god i'm trying to remember he was really mean though Mm. oh what did he say he was i don't know he was kind of mean yeah Oh, yeah, he was, I think he made a comment about, like, us needing a formula sheet. He was, like, when I came to America, because I think he's from India. Yeah. Um, he was, like, when I came to America, I was kind of shocked how students needed a formula sheet. And then everybody was, like, okay, like, cool. <laughs> like, what? And <laughs> I don't know. He would be really mean with like, like if a lot of students got this one question wrong on one of the tests, he would be like, well, I honestly don't know how you could get this wrong. Like, this question is kind of simple. It's very simple. Um, and he would just say like specific words. Like, he said this one word where everybody was like, whoa, like, chill out like it's not our fault that we got it wrong like you're the one teaching us yeah yeah like i don't know he was very strange i didn't like him i didn't like him Mm. at all i wish i could remember what he said because it was i was like whoa dude like it's it's serious but it's not that serious like you know yeah like just teach it again and maybe they'll get it correct next time yeah I was just like bro you're kind of wilding out right now yeah that was crazy Mm-hmm. it was a ride this semester was a ride definitely but yeah, that was my reflection on 2022. And what would you hope for 2023? 2023. Um like a specific goal or just like overall like for the year? Uh whatever you want to mention. It could be either mm-hmm. or both. So, hopefully, next year would be 
more smoother like with my education like with my school stuff i hope things go a bit more it's a bit more easier i feel i feel like i could be more outgoing in class mm. or like extroverted i guess yeah and this year i was kind of like i was still in my shell but like i was speaking out you know through. yeah um but yeah hopefully next semester i could actually like be outgoing and like try to take the lead sometimes um mm -hmm. i noticed a lot of times i would just like let somebody else lead um but yeah hopefully next semester uh well next year they will treat me right with school stuff as for work i hope to get an internship at a big company um i'm aiming for microsoft Ooh. or amazon mm -hmm. any tech company to be honest yeah um, and if i can like any like um like fashion or music type of business <gasps> that would be so fun i know just a internship um and um maybe get a job probably mm -hmm. i'll probably like aim for like a big old job but i'm not sure I'm not sure about that yet but i am graduating next year so i'm I am aiming for that big girl job. I'm trying to trying to get that money. Mm hmm um, Maybe maybe like after the internship. Yeah. That can lead um, to things. Yeah. But like it's kinda difficult to get an internship over there. Cause like mm. everything is like either in I've gotten a lot of offers for like Austin or San mm -hmm. Antonio. But mostly Austin. And like they're like good companies, but you know you I need to, to like, relocate. I have to like drive because it's pretty close. Like Austin is like twenty thirty minutes away from where I live, so like I would have to like have a car, and I don't, or like at least know how to drive. And I don't. If if a car wasn't a problem, like you had a car and you knew how to drive, would you have taken it? I would have totally taken that because I mean I would get so much experience I would just like like I've always wanted an internship mm -hmm. I don't know why I just wanted an internship but like most internships depend on me you know driving to the location like yeah you know, if this is not, like, New York City where you could, like, walk here and there, take the subway, like, this is the country! Like, mm -hmm. you, know, you need a car to go on the road, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, it's kind of difficult for us girls who depend yeah. on me to go places. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I would have totally done the internships if I was able to yeah um, mm. but yeah that's and for like my health to get better because my health this year it's gotten better um but I feel like next year I hope my health is better because I was kind of I was very you know not healthy this yeah. Year, in the beginning of the year, mentally, physically, everything. Mm hmm. But yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think another goal I would want to add is to at least get comfortable with, dri with driving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because. You know, when once we graduate, we 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 want to get those jobs and those opportunities, and we we're gonna have to drive if we want them. Exactly, exactly. 
so so yeah I think next year I really for sure want to start so that like by the end of the year so like around this time I like feel comfortable driving hopefully hopefully and then like the year after probably like try the freeway or stuff like that like more up another level and then hmm and then probably get the license yeah that's what I was thinking also like it's hard to be you know carless over there because yeah I feel like I've missed so many opportunities like like work wise and like relationship wise with people because like you know work you're gonna have to like drive out um and then with people like you want to hang out with people but you have to drive places yeah where i live Mm -hmm. mm-hmm yeah really really hope you to get like finally like learn how to drive like learn how to turn on the fucking car (laughs) hopefully get that license at the end of uh 2023 Mm -hmm. but yeah we'll see we'll see we will see we will update (laughs) i want to see it on our little car experience Mm -hmm. i think now would be a good time to move on to the travel because in the brews episode we talked about the europe trip that you guys took and i wanted you to talk about that experience for you so she went kind of like through every day or like not every day but like you don't have to go through every day but you can go like through every country you went or city you were at and your experience there I miss Europe. Um, I miss like just traveling in general. Um, but yeah. So first of all, we went to London, and it was it was pretty. It was really pretty. Um, but I kind of felt like it was like the New York of Europe. You know. Mm hmm. Like, I, I didn't, I didn't have much expectation with London. I didn't have that many like expectations for it. Um, it was giving very much gray, blue gray vibes, which I didn't really vibe with. Like, mm. <laughs> it was, it was, it was cool. It was cool. Um, it was pretty, I liked the statues and stuff like that, but, it was, like, sad. Um, so yeah, uh, London was really, I think I just did a lot of, like, touristy stuff. Um, there were some areas that were really, like, pretty, and then there was areas where it was, like, not so pretty, but I did vibe with it. I was like, ooh, like, it's kind of dirty, but it's kind of, like, giving aesthetic, you know? Like, giving aesthetic. <laughs> Um, but the buildings were so pretty, like, um, like, we went to the area around, um, the Ritz, which is, like, they have a hotel and a restaurant, and it was basically, like, the rich area, Mm -hmm. and I was like, ooh, this is so pretty, like, wow, I don't know, I really liked the buildings that they had there. Just the buildings in Europe, like, in general, like, anywhere, it's just really pretty. Um, 
As for the food I'm wondering, what did we eat? I think we ate fish and chips. We ate fish and chips and we ate Indian food. Um, the fish and chips were very... They weren't seasoned. Let's just say that. Mm. Um, and you know how they, like, they usually like give ketchup? For some reason, they didn't have ketchup. And I was like, um, how am I gonna, how am I gonna eat this? Like, how yeah. much does my chips need some ketchup? Like, hello? Um. They didn't but, have any other, like, sauce you could put in it? No. And so, I was like, just like, what the hell, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, I guess <laughs> I'll eat it, but it's not gonna satisfy me. Like, I need some sauce. Yeah. Um, and then for dessert we had this like brownie cake thing, mm-hmm. but it was like really hard. Like I think they like burnt it, and <laughs> I didn't eat it because it was literally unedible. I was just like, um, this isn't what I expected, but okay, I'll get it, whatever. Mm. Um. But yeah, we ate, um, another day we ate Indian food, but the Indian, uh, restaurant was very, 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 very small, (laughs) and I didn't even have a seat. I had to, like, sit, I had to, like, share my seat with somebody. I forgot who it was. It was either Carolina or Jasmine or Abro. It was somebody. But it was very, like, very, very small. Um, the food, they didn't even have enough food for everybody. And what? It was like, uh, like, I was so excited because I never had Indian food. Um, but, yeah, it wasn't really um, good because by the time I, like, ate it, it was cold. And I was mm. just like, oh. I don't want to be here anymore. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, yeah, it was really cool. I went on the train, um, and it was really fucking, like, claustrophobic. Like, I was like, ooh, this is kind of tight. Like, there wasn't a lot of people, but, like, the train itself was pretty small. And, like, it would go, like, through tunnels and it would make like a weird noise and i'm just like ew i do not like this like what if we like what if we get stuck and stuff like that you know yeah um but luckily we didn't um but yeah it it was i like the train actually it was pretty nice i i was just like really scared because i'm scared of cats um and there was this one <laughs> There was this one experience that me and a bro, I don't know if she talked about it in the podcast. I don't remember. But um, it was me, a bro, and some other people in our our little group. And we went on the train to, I think we were going back to the hotel. And um, there was like these group of girls that were next to us and me and a bro, we were the closest to them and we were standing up next to the, the door of the mm-hmm. train. And one of the girls, um, she started talking to us and then she was like, where are you guys from? And we were like, Oh, we're from, um, we're from America. And then the girls like, Oh, America. Nice. And we're like, yeah. Um, where are you from? And then I don't remember where she said she was from. I think she said something about like Israel or like mm. I don't remember somewhere somewhere else. And then we were like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. Like we heard like places there are really pretty. It's like yeah, it's really pretty. So you're from America, right? And then we're like, yeah. And <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she says, oh. Do you like Donald Trump? Do you like Donald Trump? And then everybody's just like, oh. 
Um, yeah. What? And so we're, like, trying to, like, change the topic, but she keeps on, like, saying, what, how do you feel about Donald Trump? Do you like Donald Trump? Do you like Donald Trump? And then we're just like, no. <laughs> no. We are, we are, um, people that he does not like. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was pretty weird. And then we just stopped talking to her because, like, she was just so, like, persistent with, like, knowing if we like Donald Trump or not. We were kind of like, does she like Donald Trump? Like, I don't, like, what? <laughs> I, I was, I was like, okay, from now on, we're just going to say that we're from Mexico. Because yeah. Yes. If we just say that we're from America, you know, they're going to they're gonna be like, wow, Donald Trump. Like, no. <laughs> that was really funny, though. Um, But yeah, so that was London. London was, it was nice. Would I go back? I don't think I would, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I say London would be a seven out of ten. That Nature high? Yeah, I mean, I feel like they took us to places where it's very like touristy, and like since we went to like uh, restaurants that were pretty small, I feel like if I went there again with just, like, a small group of friends, then it would be better, you know? Yeah. Um, but I give it a 7 point seven out of 10. Yeah. Um, and then next, woo! Next was France! I freaking loved France so much. Like, we went to the, we went to southern France, which was absolutely beautiful bro like France is so pretty like some places are dirty but like it was pretty dirty (laughs) you know like wow Mm -hmm. um the people were nice too uh but they really 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 like to smoke a Mm -hmm. lot and (laughs) yeah we will just like have our faces filled with smoke sometimes like like walking like on the sidewalk we'll just like whoo get a puff of smoke and we're just like oh okay um but yeah like france was it was an experience um honestly we didn't you know like the iconic eiffel tower we went there and it was way smaller than I thought. Really? Super tiny. And I was like, oh, this is this is it? This is the <laughs> this is the Eiffel Tower? Is this like you know, a miniature one? Um, but yeah. I was like, oh it's smaller, smaller. But it was really pretty, like, ugh, like, the light was gorgeous, and then the little, they would, like, have, like, the flashing lights, and they kind of look like twinkling stars on the Eiffel Tower, and it was so pretty! Oh, ugh! Like, I wish that we stayed there longer, because we didn't really, like, um, stay near the Eiffel Tower as much, because we went on a boat ride, um, At night, mm. like, but, uh, the boat ride was really cool though. Like, um, it was really relaxing. It was very romantic. Like, mm. I would take my lover there. Like, oh, it was so nice. <laughs> like the wind in your hair, and then the music. There was a lot of people, but it didn't really feel like. Like, everybody was, like, having a good time, so it didn't feel, like, as, you know, crowded, you know? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was really pretty. We had a, an amazing view of the Eiffel Tower. Um, yeah. 
It was really pretty there. Um, the food. Uh, we had oh the macaroons, bro. The macaroons. It's so good. They were so good. Like, yum. It was like actual traditional like macaroons, not like the American like green, purple, pink, blue macaroons. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so good. Like delicious. Um, and then I had a espresso at a, a cafe there and it was I had it with a bro um and but it was like we didn't know how to order there you know because like mm-hmm. it was like how do I explain this to you like I don't know if you've seen like you know in movies like in France like the tables are outside the seats are like facing the people um like the restaurant it's like pre like it's just like an open restaurant you know mm-hmm. um but yeah we were just like do we order it like do we just sit down and then they come or oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah you know you know what i'm saying mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. like i don't remember how we even ordered food. i think we went like inside and we said something or i don't know but we ended up getting like uh two coffees or two espressos and it was pretty good. I was like, mm mm with my macaroons, mm mm mm, this is delicious. Um but yeah, like I actually <laughs> got uh my stomach got sick because of it. <laughs> Cause it was like straight up coffee beans. And oh. I was like this isn't good for my stomach like my brain I don't know what happened to like my memory of being you know my stomach not being great with caffeine but yeah that happened that was horrible but you know time Mm -hmm. time passed it was it was great it was a good memory it was very aesthetic Uh, but like the food there was a lot of bread. <laughs> and did you try some? <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of bread. <laughs> a lot of bread. And it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because there was just like an awkward pause like do Go on. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. There was bread. And that's literally all we ate for breakfast for the whole, like, time we went, we were in France. Was bread. Because in the hotels, they would only have um, a little bit of fruit and a lot of bread with chocolate. And I'm like, damn. This all y'all be eating? Just bread and cigarettes? Like... <laughs> I mean, no wonder all of y'all skinny. Like, let me get on this little bread, cigarette, coffee diet. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's different in Mexico. We we have the bread and we nos inflamos. <laughs> For real, I'm like, mm, something ain't right. Mm-hmm. Bread recipe right now. But yep. yeah, it was really yummy like the bread was super soft like compared to like american bread which is like very dense very like i don't know like in france or in europe it was very like soft very like mm, yummy yummy in america it's like mm, dense you know how would you compare it to mexican bread I feel like Mexican bread, like traditional Mexican bread from like my ranchito, it's mm-hmm. very, it's like hard, but like hard as in like you're meant to eat this with like a cafe, you know? Yeah. 
a little something special. Um, but it's so sweet. Like the bread in Mexico is absolutely sweet and delicious. Mm-hmm. Like in America, it's it's not as sweet as Mexico. I feel yeah. like Mexico they like use like natural sugars instead of like artificial sugars. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think in France they use like ingredients that are very like they don't use that much ingredients, like just the basic ingredients to make you know a yummy bread. Yeah. But yeah, it was really yummy. Um, bro, the so me, Abril, and Neda and Irene, we shared. Oh, and Carolina, we shared um a room. And oh my god. The, the, like, the scene, the scene, the, what is it called? Like, the thing, like, I'm getting a brain fart right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, the window, like, we're looking at the window. Yeah, like, the view. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> the scene, the view <laughs> that we had was so pretty. Like. We had, like, a view of, like, the river, and it would, like, we would see the sunset, like, every night, and it was, it would just be such a vibe, bro. Like, I fucking love France. Like, it was so beautiful. Beautiful. It was so beautiful. Um, we actually went to a market, a little marketplace, and I fucking love the market. There was, like, a lot of, like, um restaurants um a lot of fresh fruit the fruit there was so good like it was so yummy i got this like fruit cup thingy for free <laughs> Ooh. i stole it i'm just kidding <laughs> but it was so good it was so yummy like you know they just do that shit they cut that shit up this morning. Like, it was so good. Um, but yeah, it was delicious. All the food, the views, everything about France was absolutely beautiful. Um, we didn't have any, like, problems, like, language-wise, because a lot of them spoke English or a little bit of it. Um, but there was this one time, oh my gosh, there was this one time that we went to go get crepes, right? Mm-hmm. And then the owner, I feel like the owner was kind of crazy, to be honest, because once we came, we, we saw, like, uh the first crepe little, little um shop, the first crepe, li- the first shop that we saw was a crepe shop, right? Mm-hmm. And so we were like, oh, let's go get crepes. Like, mm, crepes in France. Let's go. And so we go. And then the restaurant owner was like, are you talking to himself? Or like on the phone? I don't, I don't, I really don't know. But he was like talking. And then we like try to speak English to him. Because we obviously don't know French, you know? Mm-hmm. So we're like... Um, can we get um four crepes? And we like we like showed like the the number four on our hands, right? With the four mm-hmm. and stuff. We're like four crepes. Um and then I think we were like pointing at what we wanted to eat. But like I think he was like getting annoyed with us for some reason and we were just like, Oh, what the hell? Like he his tone was like really like mm. Like, ill. Like, I kind of don't want to eat your crepes anymore, bitch. Mm-hmm. But we ended up getting the crepes. Um, I didn't really like it because of the warm, like, strawberries. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I totally forgot that I don't like warm fruit. 
like, I hate work through, like, when my auntie tries to give me, like, um, what's it called? It's just, like, a warm fruit tea that they serve in Mexico. And I'm like, ooh, I don't like this. It's just warm fruit water, like, ew. Um, yeah, I just did not like it. But I just took out, like, <laughs> I just took out the strawberries and ate them and then ate the crepe. Um, and it was really good. I mean, it's, it's like a fucking milk pancake with whipped cream and chocolate. Like, how can you go wrong with that? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that was delicious. I, I, I give France overall a 9.5. I want to go back there again and make more memories, hopefully stay and take more pictures, um, especially by the Eiffel Tower because we didn't have no time. None of Did it. you guys go shopping? Yes, we went shopping. They gave us like a lot of free time, which I really loved. Um, and I don't remember what I bought, but I think I bought, like, several clothing stuff um, and earrings. I know mm -hmm. I bought, like, some stuff for, like, like my family. Just, like, small, like, what's it called? Like, the things Souvenirs? Buy. Yeah, yeah. Souvenirs. I used to have a lot of little souvenirs. Um, but, yeah. I saw a lot of tourists. I kind of want to, like, go where there's not that many tourists. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah. People are very good looking over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me just say that. I feel like France is one of those places that, that I would want to go. Like, I wouldn't want to go to England, to be honest. But, like, France, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, I wouldn't go back to England, to be honest. Only if I, like, know a friend over there. Like, I wouldn't go back. But I'm, I'm definitely going back to France. Definitely! Mm -hmm. It's just so beautiful there. Like, the people were really nice. Um, except for that one guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, he... He... Just France in general is amazing. But yeah, 9.5. The point five would be um, because I don't know much French. Like, if I knew French, then I would have given France a 10 out of 10 experience. But... Ooh. But it's still really high. It sounds like it's a good, it's a good um, country. Yeah, I really like it. I really like France. France is beautiful. Even though I saw some protests on the <laughs> when we were going to um the hotel, like the TV was on, and there was like so many protests and like mm. the car on fire, and I was like, hell yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is my shit. Yeah, you're, you're like, I'm used to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this is America? Like, let's go! <laughs> but, yeah. I really like France. And then was Spain. And I fucking adored Spain so much. I feel like if I spent more time in Spain, then Spain would have definitely topped France. Because it's just so pretty, bro. Like, the architecture. I, I am a hoe for architecture. Like, buildings. I feel like in America, buildings are so ugly. Like, they're all the same. They're so boring. They're gray. They're very, like, like, I feel like America's like, ooh, modern. Modern, modern houses. Modern buildings. Like, this shit ugly. Like, yeah. it gives me flavor. Like, mm -hmm. where's the fucking color? Where's the shapes? Like, 
this is giving very much like copy sin. paste. <laughs> mm-hmm. It really does. I cannot vibe with America's architecture. It's so ugly. I don't like modern architecture, to be honest. Mm. Like, I love Spanish, like, styled homes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just so gorgeous. But, yeah. Spain was so pretty. Um, The people were pretty, too. I was like, oh my gosh, y'all are so pretty. And we went to the beach. And girl, the beach was so beautiful. Oh, and we also went to um a beach in France. Really? I think so. It was either France or Spain. But they were like so pretty. The view, the pictures I took, they were so pretty. Like the water was so blue. The wind, the temperature the weather everything was perfect um uh what was i gonna say but i didn't get in the water because i think i was on my period Mm. um but yeah it was so pretty me and a girl we walked on the beach together so romantic Mm. (laughs) um yeah it was so pretty there like There were so many titties out. I was like, wow, there's so many titties around me right now. Because, you know, like, over there, like, you could take off your top. Like, they don't care about your boobs. Mm Mm-hmm. Did you know that? No. Yeah. Over there, like, the beaches, like, you could take off your your, uh, bikini top. And just let them out. And I was like, I could vibe with this so much. Like, let me come back and take off my top. But, yeah. Um, we, didn't, we didn't really spend that much time in Spain. Which I'm so, like, sad about. I think we spent, like, two and a half days there. Mm. Um, but we had the most like free time there like we didn't really like go to any special places just like the beach and this area where like it's it was like a shopping area Ooh. and there was so many shops it was so cool and we saw like this marijuana shop and we we're like oh oh <laughs> shit you know what we're gonna get you know what we're gonna get <laughs> But, um, yeah, I just vibed with Spain so much. I went to, like, this little, um, restaurant thingy-majiggy. Well, it wasn't really a restaurant. It was, like, more of a dessert shop. And, girl, it was so good. Yummy, yummy. I loved it. I think I got, like, um, I got, like, an ice cream crepe thingy and it was delicious um the aesthetic of the place was so pretty um and it was like very easy to talk to the people because they knew spanish like even though like their spanish is different like they would still like we like we could still communicate you know and Yeah. yeah i feel like i could totally see myself like living in Spain for some time. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I could see myself living in France and Spain. Um, Not really London, because London was... Mm, it was like New York, but like depressed. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I really like Spain. I give Spain like, um... Since I didn't, I didn't like spend so much time there. I give it an eight point five out of ten. Yeah, but it was it was amazing. I really liked it. The hotel that we were in felt so bougie. I was like, ooh, I love this. 
I love this treatment. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't spend that much time there, which was unfortunate. But I mean, that's fine. We could always go back. Hopefully. Yeah. I feel like Spain, based on what you and Abro said, I feel like Spain would also be a place I would want to visit. Like France and Spain. From that area. Yeah, I feel like you would vibe so well with them. Like, like, France was very much, like, so laid back. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like kind of like Mexico. Mm. Like, I got Mexico vibes from France. Weirdly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Spain... I feel like Spain was, it was also, like, laid back, but it was also, like, let's have fun. Like, mm-hmm. it was, like, let's go out and, like, go shopping and blah, blah, blah. Like, mm-hmm. more, like, that kind of laid back, you know? Yeah. I love shopping, so I feel like, I, I like, I like shopping. I like sweet goods. And I like the beach. In the countryside, so like, what you guys described was like, oh my god, I would have loved to have been there. Yes, dude. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go back. Mm-hmm. Go back. It's very cheap. It's extremely cheap to like travel around there. Yeah. Yeah. And it was so funny because <laughs> I think we were going from. Ugh, where were we going? We were either going from London to France or France to Spain. But we were going through um, a train. And like, it was me, Carolina, Jasmine, Abril, and Alex. And I think we were like the only ones that got first class. Like, I don't know how <laughs> we got first class in that train. Like, we we were, like, ex- well, we got, like, on our tickets, right? Like, it says mm-hmm. what we're in. And, like, we were, like, noticing how, like, all of the other, like, people that we were with were going, like, all the way to the back. And we were going all the way to the front. And we were, like, okay, cool. Are we going the right way? Like, what the heck? Uh, but we go, and <laughs> we, like, we just sit down, and we notice, well, I noticed, like, there were people, like, there were businessmen, like, in suits, and their, like, suitcases. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think we're supposed to be here. Like, the seats were very, like, nice and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, we were just like, okay this is a little bougie like ooh but yeah we we just sat down you know we started talking we were just like going along with the with the train vibing stuff like that um some of us were like kind of falling asleep already but then all of a sudden the food comes out and we're like whoa we get fed we get fed on the train like it's not a long train ride it was like an hour or so, you know? Mm-hmm. And we were like, oh, thank you. Like, I forgot what we got, but it was like a full, a full course meal, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but they didn't have, you know, they didn't have wine, they didn't, it was like, it wasn't that fancy, but, you know, we got fed. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, train ride was so fun like I, and then I went to the I went to the restroom the restroom was so big like I think they had like a separate cabin like a train cabin for the restroom like it was huge I was like okay okay this is big thought it was gonna be like a little airplane restroom yeah mm-hmm. um but yeah it was it was funny when we went back to like um our group. They're like, "Where were y'all?" 
No, I think we asked, like, did, y- did y'all get food, too? <laughs> like, no, what do you mean? And, yeah. So, they didn't get food, but they did meet, like, a famous person, I guess. Like, I think she was, like, an actress or something like that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. We were like, oh, we got food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, I really but liked it. How many teachers went with you guys? How many, like, yeah, how many teachers? I think there was three, two. No, 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 no. three. Three or four. Because, yeah. And then we had, like, another group from, like, another school, I guess. And then there was, like, this couple that was there. We were like, oh, hey. But, like, from our school, I think there was four of them. Mm. Because I was thinking maybe those were for the teachers, like, those tickets. But since you guys had a lot of tickets, then it would have not made sense. No. Because, like, I mean, it had our names on it. so we were Yeah, like, that too. Oh, cool. And it was so weird because, like, all of us, like, all of our friends. Yeah, it was so cool how, like, the friends were together. I know. It was so weird. I was like, oh, the universe. Mm-hmm. Like, somebody was like, let me get these friends a little, a little treat. Mm-hmm. A little treat. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, like, overall, my Europe little trip was so fun. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. I wish I could go back in time and do it all over again. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can always go back in the future. Yeah. yeah. Little yeah. Emily in Paris type of moment. Huh? Oh, I was. <laughs> I said a little Emily in Paris type of moment. Oh. But I never seen it, and I guess you haven't either. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to travel in the future. Oh, I can't wait for that. Me too. Like I'm already saving up money because I'm trying to go to Korea mm-hmm. like next year. Like I'm ready to go. Yep. Because, mm-hmm. well, yeah, Korea. Well, I don't think it's going to be next year, but, yeah. I think just when, like, Carolina graduates, it's going to mm-hmm. be, like, a graduation present. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just we tired of this education. We just want to travel, you know? Yeah. I wish we could travel for, like, a career. I mean, I feel like there is. But then at the same time, I think, like, for me, I'd want to travel and, like, vlog it, you know? Like, to be sponsored by one of those companies and take, like, Maybe not, like, a tour guide with us, but, like, individual, you know? Yeah. Or, like, with a friend's type of thing yeah. where, like, a company, a company sponsors us to travel and, like, we vlog it and, like, everything. And then that's how we make our money. Yeah, I want to do that, too. But, I don't know. Uh, it's, that's a big dream. Mm-hmm. I mean, we could dream it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, but you also blocked your your um your trip, right? Yes, I did. I blocked it. Um my editing skills weren't the best, but yeah, I blocked it. It was really fun to like vlog the whole experience and like have the memories with me cuz I feel like if I didn't vlog it, like, I would not remember <laughs> anything. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, I also hate that when I travel that I don't remember anything. Mm-hmm. Like, 
I want to be like in the moment, but like at the same time, I'm not gonna remember it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I want video of the experience, you know? Yeah, yeah, me too. Whenever I go to Mexico, I like I want to film for like my parents, like to make them a video, but also for me because. I don't always remember everything, and then my parents are always asking, like, so what did you do? What did you do? You know? So then, like, by filming or taking pictures, I'm like, I can remember what we did. Yeah. I haven't vlogged in, like, Mexico at all. I'm I'm scared. (laughs) (laughs) Why? I'm just scared. Like, well, I'm not scared. I'm just, like, what what are my cousins gonna think of me just like whipping out my camera and like well not my camera but like my phone to like film like they're gonna be like what what are you filming what is this for and I'm gonna be like oh <laughs> YouTube and they're like wow YouTube how many subscribers do you have haha <laughs> one <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I'm nervous about but yeah. But also at that time, I didn't really, like, have, like, a YouTube presence. Yeah. Like, I didn't really vlog. And I went, last time I went was for my grandma's funeral. So I couldn't really, like, vlog. But hopefully next year I get to go to Mexico. Yeah. I think this would be a good segment to move into social media since we're talking about it now. Yeah. Uh, for me, I've been doing YouTube videos since, let me see, I think on my YouTube channel it says that I've been active since, let me see. Hmm. On the about, yeah, on the about section of your YouTube channel, where below under the description, it says, well, for me, it says joined March 8, 2014. Mm. Wow. So, uh, I've been posting videos since 2014. But, like, a lot of them are, like, private because... They just don't fit what I'm trying to do now, you know? Yeah. So whatever I don't want to be up anymore, I just put it on private. Mm Mm-hmm. I can't find my year. Let me see if I can do by... Yours is this October 26, 2017. Okay, so October, yeah, I was 17. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because I think my first video was in 20, 2019, actually. Mm. Right? Also, I'm trying to, like, edit one of my videos, and it's not letting me upload it or, like, download it from iMovie. Oh. It's pissing me off. Oh, actually, no. <laughs> my first YouTube video was what cheerleaders, what cheerleaders do before nationals, which was three years ago. That's crazy. That's so funny. Hello? Hello. I was just oh, looking at my oh my videos. <laughs> Girl, oh my god. So you have been vlogging, like going to the rodeo, like for a long time, right? But I think those those videos are like 
private in now. So like my first, it was seven years ago, 2015. I had posted like my first vlog. Well, it wasn't really a vlog. It was just like videos of the rodeo. And then, so I was like, hmm, I'm going to just keep doing that, right? Yeah. And then in, let me see. In 2017, I had recorded a ride. The one ride, you remember the ride we got on where it's a chair and you're by yourself and then it spins? Oh, yeah. Like, I recorded that one because I had never gotten on that ride ever until that day. But I had recorded it before, you know? Yeah. Because, I I mean, I like to go and search up rides before I go to a theme park or something like that, you know? So that I know how it's going to be. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to film this one, you know? And then in the comments section, I don't know why. But all of a sudden, someone was, someone po- someone said, that's one boring ride. And then so a girl said, it's not. And then eight days ago, another person was like, it is boring. Oh <laughs> They're just like fighting in the comment sections. <laughs> and I'm just like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. and that that video got me 30k views okay she said let's get into the case Mm -hmm. case case (laughs) yeah that's my highest video a ride from the rodeo oh my gosh um I'm trying to see which the highest views i've gotten was <laughs> I remember that video. uh college friend gets cut we were just like cutting my friend's hair mm. <laughs> that was how many views 232 views oh <laughs> not much but hey feels something. something nah it's a lot of me but yeah, I still want to like vlog stuff, do like my muscle vlogs. Yeah, I feel like those are fun. Yeah, they're so fun and so easy. Well, they're not that easy to edit, to be honest. But mm-hmm. like, it's worth it. Like a mm-hmm. whole month of just like content. Yeah. Easy to make, but very hard to like edit and stuff. Especially like with like, um, like I don't have that much data, not mm-hmm. data, but like storage on my phone. Mm-hmm. So hopefully I get a camera in the future. Yeah, I've been wanting a camera too. Yeah, cameras be expensive, bro. I'm like, damn. Let me just vlog on a Hello Kitty camera. <laughs> Sony camera. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll get a camera one day. One day. One day. I also wanted to talk about how you want to get into streaming. Would you do it on Twitch or on YouTube? Well. I can't go, I can't really stream on YouTube because like you have to have like a certain amount of subscribers too. Um so I would first like go on Twitch to like get a little platform, get a little bit of people, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of followers and then like I want to like grow my social media presence more mm-hmm. on Twitch. Um and then hopefully gain more subscribers on YouTube from Twitch, and then start streaming on YouTube. Yeah. That's what I'm planning on doing and seeing what I can do. But yeah. I feel like it's gonna be fun to stream, and like I feel like at the beginning we need to like, what's it called? To like be patient. 
because you know how like or you know like even with youtube with youtubers that like put out the first video like some want to be really fancy mm-hmm. like if they were pros but then at the same time i'm like i don't know i feel like you should just let it happen as you grow you know like don't start mm-hmm. at the beginning trying to want to be a pro mm-hmm. when you don't really have a following you know yeah exactly that's what i was thinking because like At first, I was like, yeah, I can never, you know, be a streamer or be, like, somebody, like, just have, like, a social media presence because Mm -hmm. I don't have, you know, a good camera. I don't have this or that. But, like, in reality, like, you're basically selling yourself. That sounds Mm -hmm. bad. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) that sounds bad. You're selling your personality, who you are, who you present, you know? Yeah. Like. It's not about, like, the fancy camera, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, like starting off low, you know? Yeah. And at the same time, like, you don't know. Like, you might be wasting this money Mm -hmm. on, like, equipment. um, Because you might not even get, like, a following. Yeah. Because I see a lot of people on Twitch who, they have a lot of, like, fancy equipment. Um and stuff like that but they have like no following you know yeah and i mean i feel bad but at the same time like you need to like sell like your personality and stuff like that Mm -hmm. mm-hmm yeah like give yourself an opportunity to grow Mm -hmm. and i feel like looking back would be fun too to say like oh look at how far i've gone instead of like already starting with everything so like there's kind of no room to grow in a way yeah and people really like um to watch people grow Mm -hmm. like me being a marketer like i kind of know like how like somebody should market themselves yeah People love to watch people grow, especially with, like, their social media stuff. But people yeah. also hate it as well because they think, oh, you got in, you you changed, you know? Yeah. So time, you also have, like, a good, strong, like, bond with your followers. Yeah, like, you have those supporters that were with you since the beginning. Exactly. And, like, they they can tell how you've grown. But then, like, I feel like the people who hate that have, they, that they have changed are, like, not really supporters, you know? Yeah. Especially yeah. if they, like, haven't, if they changed for a good way, you know? I feel like Saikuno is a good example because, you know... When he started, it like he was really different. If you see the clips and videos, he was really different than how he is now. And I feel like I don't know yeah, if people right. don't like him for for that or like stuff like that. But like he didn't change into a bad person, you know. No, he changed for a good. Like, just he changed into he didn't what he feels comfortable with. Got in, yeah, he got him better with like being him being being yeah and he made a lot of friends along the way and like it's so cool to see how he's the one connecting people when you wouldn't really expect it you know Mm -hmm. so it's really fun to see that like how many friends they have made yeah and like how they get along with each other Mm -hmm. i think that's why i also have have kept watching because before the pandemic, or like you know during that like, um, what's it called like beauty YouTube where it was like James Charles, all the girls, oh, yeah, Jeffrey yeah. Star, like that was a I feel like that was a horrible era. I hated that era of YouTube. That, it was so toxic. <laughs> yes. It was just controversy over controversy, controversy. <laughs> mm-hmm. And like drama. And then yeah, I yeah. hate whenever they don't even say anything. Oh my I god. And... Oh, sorry, go on. 
Oh, I was gonna say, you know those videos where they would make, where it's like, like, you have to take a shot or like, like answer the question honestly or take a shot. Mm-hmm. And like those videos, like all those, all those YouTubers would do those videos, but then they would never say anything spicy. I know. I'm like, give us content. Like, this is kind of boring. Like, come it on. really is. Like, I don't know if you like them. Like, Alicia Marie, Lauren DIY, like, those girls. I don't know if you ever watched them or liked them. I think I know Lauren. Lauren DIY, but... Mm-hmm. Go on. Because, well, my sister has been watching her old videos where they would do those videos of, like, taking a, take a shot or answer the question. And I'm like... Why do people watch these girls if they're not going to answer anything spicy, you know? Because mm-hmm. I'm like, if I was a YouTuber and, like, they were asking me these questions, like, I'd say everything, you know? I'd, like... Yeah, I'll give up eight like, tips. Yes. Instead of just being like, mm, I'm not going to answer that, you know? Yeah. Like, then what's the whole point? The whole point is not for you to drink. It's for you to say things, you know? At least drink and then start saying some stuff. Because, shit. Yeah. You can get drunk and be telling the truth. Like, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I also didn't like those girls because of the way they were, you know? Like, I don't know. And, like, I always changed who I would follow. And I feel like I have finally found a group of people where I know, like, they're genuine and, like, they're not toxic, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, because it's really hard when you follow somebody and then, like, years after something happens or, like, they do something horrible, you know? Yeah. So, like, it's hard. To keep supporting them. Or like to keeping up with them. Yeah. But like. Now I know like. Huh? Mm -hmm. But then with this group of people. I know. I know to a degree that they. They're like honest. Or like. would, Would it like defend themselves. Well, not defend themselves, but, like, they would put the truth out there. Yeah. And, like, they wouldn't do anything bad, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. They were just being people. Yeah. Being their true selves, that's all that matters. Yeah, like, being being themselves and not trying to fake some, like, a personality that there aren't. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like those girls, too, like, they were over-exaggerating, you know? Yeah, I don't like mm-hmm. this group of where, like, they exaggerate. Like, you're gonna have to exaggerate, like, something, like, you know, you're gonna have to, like, capture somebody's attention. Like, yeah. you have to be loud, but at the same time, like, don't be, like annoying loud you know yeah 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 because i feel like they were annoying loud because mm-hmm. like there's like this specific genre of like youtubers or streamers that are like for children you know like mm-hmm. i don't know any specific youtubers because i don't watch those types of videos but like the ones that they like obnoxiously just like yell at the camera and then like joke about like weird stuff like i don't know like, yeah i think i know what you're saying just like i don't know yeah i don't really like those i don't really watch those either Mm-mm. not my vibe not my vibe But has there been a streamer that a lot of people like, but you don't like? Oh, (laughs) 
Let me think. I don't think that it... Well... Mm, no. I was gonna say, like, XQC. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, too. <laughs> I don't like him at all. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> yeah, he's very annoying to me. And I don't. Mm -hmm. I think also... I don't know if you watch them. I kind of don't like... <laughs> I kind of don't like Tommy in it. I don't watch his streams, but I watch his YouTube videos. Mm. I I don't I don't really vibe with him. I mean, some some of his jokes are kind of funny, but then like, eh. Yeah. He's like the annoying little brother. Yeah, he really is. I feel like that's why I don't, I like I don't follow his streams or like mm -hmm. follow him on Twitch or wherever he streams. I only watch his YouTube videos yeah. when he vlogs because I feel like those are more fun, you know? Mm. I feel like he he's meant to be a YouTuber more, you know? Oh. I actually haven't seen his vlogs. Yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like he's funner in vlogs. I should watch him, though. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I should see what he's about on vlogs because, like, I only see him like with um like a little bit with like his streams or like whenever he's with like other streamers that I watch. Mhm. Mm yeah. He's like the annoying little brother. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Now that I think about it, he really is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Like also Hassan, not I like him. <laughs> I like him. But he's, like, the older big brother, like, for me. Yeah, like, to be honest, I don't watch his streams either. <laughs> like, uh -huh. I like to watch parts of his streams whenever he's reacting to things. But, like, since his streams are, like, really long, I cannot sit and watch them whenever he's live. So I wait until there's, like, VODs or, like, the uh -huh. YouTube videos we would watch of him reacting yeah. to things so like that's where i would watch him i would just put him like in the background <laughs> yeah especially when i was doing like my homework i'll just have him in the background just ranting and shit mm -hmm. like, yeah, just, he gives me like big brother vibes yeah he does and also like if i join in the middle of something he's talking about then it's like what's the whole point i didn't see the first part so that's why i don't really watch his streams either because i don't want to see the whole the whole part of it of him reacting to what he's reacting or talking about uh, yeah that's true because you have to be there from the beginning mm -hmm. with something mm -hmm. and i'm like trying to think of other streamers i mean crackity he also gives me brother vibes yeah, he does. I was watching him today. He was building a gingerbread house. He's so funny. Oh, yeah. I saw that Um, on your story. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, what is he doing now? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Brother vibes there. Brother on crack. Y yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time I see him, I'm like, he kind of looks like my brother. <laughs> but he's, like, short, isn't he? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. For me, like, I <laughs> in my brain, it works if Quackity is short. <laughs> <laughs> like, probably, like, my height. Mm. Short for men. We would have to look his height up. <laughs> look it up and tell me. Let me guess. Let me okay, guess. Let me see. I want to mm. say, even though I said my height, I want to say five six. So like average. Mm -hmm. Like average male height. Quackity. Uh... Is 
They said around 5'8". Oh. Uh, he's not that short. He's like tall short. Yeah. Like, I could still wear heels and we'll be at the same height. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are there any other like streamers? Are there like any streamers that you look up to? Mm. I think Carl and Tina. Um, ooh, big on Tina. I don't really mm-hmm. watch much of Carl, but I really like Tina. Yeah, I like Tina a lot. I I like. Uh, I think Carl is just really fun to watch. Like I can sit through a whole stream. Oh, and also mm-hmm. foolish. I can sit through a whole stream and like be entertained, you know. And same for mm-hmm. Tina. Like I like I love replaying their vods and stuff whenever they play with other friends, especially. Since, like, the whole energy, it's, like, it's friends, you know? So, it's yeah. it's just chill. Yeah, it feels, like, natural. Yeah, it feels natural. It feels like we're with them there. Like, whenever they, whenever Tina would react to be a puppy cat and, like, everybody joined. Like, that was so fun, you know? Like, it feels like you're there with her. Yeah. And Carl, too, he, he, like, wants you to, he makes it so that you feel like you're with him there. Whenever he plays games, mm. yeah, that was that's what makes a good streamer. Like if you feel like so comfortable enough that you feel like you have a connection with them, that that what that's what makes a really good streamer for me. Yeah, and I think Shoto does that too. Mm. But I'm not, like, sure. I feel like Shoto's there for, like, it's because Shoto's, like, the opposite of Saikuno, you know? He's, like, a Saikuno, but opposite. Uh, yeah, yeah. (laughs) If you know what I mean. (laughs) So, like, I feel like that's why I also like him. Mm -hmm. Do you think you like them because you see, like, yourself in them? Mm, I think like, because they're the opposite of me. Yeah, I was going to say, like, or, like, somebody you want to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I, like, once I see, like, somebody who I could see, like, myself in or somebody I want to be like, then that's when I'm like, oh, yeah, I definitely like them. Like, I definitely like their content. Yeah, and also I feel like the person I would be like would be Uki, but I'm not sure, you know? Mm, yeah, yeah. Like, Uki's very chill and stuff, but yeah. then, like, he's also, like, really entertaining at the same time, even though he's chill. Mm-hmm. He he's also, a- yeah, like, I feel like he's also kind of, like, the opposite of Saikuno. He's, like, 50% Saikuno, and then, like, Fifty percent Shoto. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah, I can see that. Mhm. Mm, yeah. I need to like keep up with streamers because like. Mhm. Well, Me too, to be honest. Girl, I was so busy this semester. I I, I was missing everybody. I was like, oh no. There's so much yeah. new stuff that's happening and. Blah blah blah, and I'm like here, like wait, hold on. Mhm. But yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Like, I get to keep up with all the streamers. Yep. And also, like with Shoto and Uki, I feel like I kind of stopped watching them for a while because they wouldn't really like play games that I like. So I kind of got distance from them, which is sad because, you know, like, I really like them. 
and like for a while like i would watch them every day like every day i was there but then they started playing games they didn't like so i was like eh, you know <laughs> yeah no i get you like sometimes i find like some streamers be playing games and i'm just like mm, i don't like this or like they react to something that i wouldn't really like want really want to like watch just like mm-hmm. oh, yeah funny. Yes, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Would you be wanting to stream also? I feel like at the moment, no. By myself, no. Like, I would join you, you know? Mm, Yeah. Like, I would want to join you, and I'm open to joining you. But, like, by myself, I don't think so. Just because... I have, like, I don't know how I would stream, you know? hmm So, maybe, like, in the future, for sure. Once, like, I have money to buy my own things, I would for sure want to try it out. Yeah. I think, like, I'll slowly go into streaming. Like, I'll just start, like, talking or something like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Do some commentary or just talk about life and stuff and then like with time and work i'll get like an actual working computer pc to yeah play yeah, yeah games and stuff like that mm-hmm. but yeah hopefully soon because i'm really eager to to just like have fun online yeah me too like i want to be there with you yes you're gonna be on there. I'm gonna invite mm-hmm. you. Yay! But I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. Um, I don't know if I should show my face or not. I don't think I. Yeah, know. that too. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, I was like, um, let me just not show my face. Not yet. <laughs> but then again, like. I don't want, like, a whole face reveal, so I don't want to, like, hold on on, like, showing my face, you know? (laughs) Oh, yeah, that is true. You know what happened with Jane? Mm Mm-hmm. I was like, "Uh uh-oh. Ain't nobody else gonna be doing a little face reveal. Yeah. Everybody was also like, oh, my God, Corpse is not gonna want to show himself to us. Oh, yeah. I'm like, baby, he was never gonna show us. Yeah, uh, yeah, I never. I feel like we would have never seen him. Mm-mm. I don't think we would ever see Corpse ever in our lifetime. Yep. But then at the same time, you know, on Spotify, for his um for his account, he has that one picture, and um for the longest time, I wasn't sh- I wasn't sure. I'll send it to you. I wasn't sure if that was art or like an actual picture. I think you mentioned this before to me. It's the blurry one, right? Um, he has. Let me see. I don't. I think I have posted it before, but I don't. Okay, let me send it to you. Yeah, I posted it. That one. Because he kind of showed himself. It if that is him, to us, and I feel like that's enough. You know. Oh, yeah. Like, for the longest time, I couldn't tell if that was art or if that was actually him. Yeah. Some AI shit, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, if that is him, then that's kind of cool. Because he didn't really say anything. Yeah. I feel like it's best so just, like, if he would do, like, a little face reveal or something like that, like, just do it like just not make a whole big deal like how dream did <laughs> yeah yeah he or like that. <laughs> if he doesn't want to show his his whole face to to like use a mask but like show his eyes you know like i feel like if we could only see his eyes i feel like that would be good enough to for me to be honest yeah just a cheek just a cheek mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, show us a little cheek Yeah. 
that. We'll see. We'll see in another lifetime. Let's see him. Yeah, I I don't know. I feel like there could. I feel like it could be a fifty-fifty. We do, or like we don't. You know. Mhm. Cause didn't he like mention like he was thinking about it, but then like he went back to like, oh, actually, I don't want to do that at all. Yeah, I feel like in an interview with Anthony, he did say he would want to. Or maybe, maybe once he gets more comfortable with himself, because you know how he posted that video of his shadow, like, on Twitter, mm. and everybody was like, oh my god, yeah, like, in a good way, in a good way, yeah, so maybe, like, he'll slowly start to show, or, like, also, because this picture that I sent you, it was, like, after that, like, that was recently, so maybe he might show a little more with like art for his music because for one of his songs he has also uh, like I don't know again I don't know if it's like art or if it is him but like he's also showing himself but like with a mask Mm -hmm. so maybe he might show himself but like with a mask where he isn't blocking his face with his hand. You know? Like a Rambo type of moment. Yeah. Just happens. Just happens. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like that would be cool because then we can see him interact with the friends more. Yeah. And, like, he'd be able to go with them. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, wouldn't it be cool? Like... For this week, the the roomies, so Fusli, Yvonne, Valkyrie, Saikuno, Mi Young, they had charity streams and like Foolish, Hassan, Ludwig, and like and Tina and Carl, like they showed up to their streams and I was like, Oh, wouldn't it have been fun if Corpse was there too? Like I felt like he was missing, you know? Yeah. Be like that sometimes. Mhm. But then at the same time, I'm like, we cannot be pressuring him, you know. Mhm. We cannot be forcing him to do something he doesn't want to do. Yeah. He he will do it when he feels like, when he feels comfortable. Yeah, he he would do it for sure, or like be behind the scenes, you know. Yeah. But like we only hear his voice. Like, oh, what was that? What was that? Yeah, but I mean, at least it's cool how he has, like, visited his friends or been around them. Maybe, like, not on stream or, like, on camera, but, like, they have met him before, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think that's, like, a huge step, too. Yeah. We'll see. I feel like would yeah I feel like that'll be cool too but I think this is a good time to end the last episode of 2022 especially since it's freezing (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I I'm like my bed is literally next to the window and I'm Yes like, <laughs> I'm like I'm cold but I'm not cold. Yeah, I'm like trying not to like shiver. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm gonna go check on the porch because like so- well I haven't seen the cat in a long time, but there's like a cat that like sometimes comes on the porch. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see if it's on the porch. And if it's freezing, I'm going to bring it inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you do that. <laughs> yes. I will see you soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. To this podcast, this episode was really nice. It was fun. Yay. I'm glad you can join me before the end of the year. Yes. I hope everybody has a good 
Christmas, a good New Year's, and I wish everybody a great New Year's next year. Same. Me too. Happy holidays. Hopefully this is out between Christmas and the New Year. So, yes. Every holiday. Yes. And any holiday, I hope you have an amazing new day. You don't celebrate anything. Celebrate your life. Mm-hmm. Focus Celebrate another year yeah, that you're yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Goodbye. Goodbye.